All right, firing in three, two, one. This force is called voltage. Now watch what happens as soon as I turn the switch on. All right, you guys asked for it, so today I'm going to deliver on something that you want to see made real. I'm going to be making Symmetra's turrets, and they're going to use real lasers. Also, quick warning, don't play with lasers if you don't know what you're doing. All right, so first things first, let's turn this translucent blue piece of acrylic into the light diffuser for the turrets and also for the hover rings down below. And then it broke. I accidentally screwed up the Z offset, so it took way too deep of cuts and ruined the pieces and shot one of them across the room. Very fun, by the way. Thankfully, I was able to recover the diffuser pieces, which are the most critical points. No little hover rings, oh well. All right, so let's take a tour of the components that actually make this work. First up, we've got the laser diode itself. This is a two watt laser diode, a 445 nanometer, for those of you who are curious. Next, we've got a servo motor for each one. These have some special mounting brackets. I actually got these for free. They're way overkill and silly expensive, uh, but they have that nice little hub, which makes it easy to attach things to. For sensing, I've got this infrared range finder. Pretty easy to use and can measure things from about 15 centimeters to 150 centimeters. I've got this illuminated arcade button, which uh, will be the main trigger. Pretty handy. And I've had this gigantic e-stop for a while now, and I feel like this is the perfect uh, main connection for the laser power. It's really fun to press. The whole thing's controlled by an Arduino Mega and a relay shield because the lasers actually draw a fair amount of current. Uh, definitely overkill, but once again, I had it on hand. I'm probably never going to use this Mega for anything else. And the lasers run from 6 to 9 volts, so this 2-cell LiPo battery will do the trick. Inside, there are going to be strips of RGB LEDs, so I can get the teal color. Now, last but certainly not least, I'm going to be turning this welding helmet into my own version of, you know, FPV goggles. Of course, this viewport does nothing to protect my eyes from the wavelength of light the lasers emit, so I'm going to be completely masking it off, putting a camera on the outside and a little LCD on the inside so I can safely view uh, the laser beams and see what I'm doing with absolutely no chance of it getting, you know, to my retinas. I'm going to be using this little LCD screen for the interior, this camera, to provide a video feed and a battery to power it all and the corresponding little power circuitry to power the screen and the camera because they need different voltages. All right, so now I'm going to start putting it together. All right, so we're getting close. I've got just about everything assembled. Uh, the base with the buttons are ready. Parts are glued. Laser modules are mounted. And now I just need to solder everything together. Okay, so now you can see the completed circuit for the FPV mask. I've got the battery, the battery charger with a new power switch the power converters, and the camera and LCD, and everything's working. 
All right, so now with the electronics for the mask done, it's time to modify the visor so that no light gets inside. So that only took forever. Whew, goddamn. All right, let's test them out. First test, but before I do that, I need to put on fancy eyewear. Oh wow, look at that. Cyberpunk. All right, super cheap. Got the battery mounted in here and now Turn that on, and you can see through it. Neat. All right, first test. Oh, all right. I can't see shit. Fun. All right, test number two. Sick. All right. Got some burnage. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. That was. That was real fast. Alright, firing in three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> Alright, three, two, one. God damn it. All right, final test. The ultimate balloon. Activating turrets in three, two, one. Holy fuck. Well, that made a mess. Oh man, that was 
actually a lot of fun. I thought it would be cool, but that was really exciting. Uh, I didn't go blind. I didn't light anything on fire. And um, it works. These are real symmetric turrets. They're real laser turrets. All right, so this, this sensor is not super effective. Who cares? Real lasers uh, from a fictional universe. I am really glad someone suggested this and that I was able to deliver. All right, so that covers it for these for right now. Let me know if you think there's something else I should test them on. By the way, you can, of course, download the 3D models uh, for your own turrets, but if for whatever reason you don't want to make gigantic turrets, I've also made mini turrets. Let's get, let's get a little bit closer in there. They are itty bitty. So maybe if you want your own little teeny tiny car wash, you can make your own really easily. Oh, and you know, you can put magnets on the bottom so you can stick them to things and that's fun. Okay, hmm, last but not least, it's after midnight, I'm really tired. Ugh. If you want to win the Banff belt buckle, details are in the description below. So go ahead and check that out. Uh, it will have the end date down below because they still haven't decided yet as of this filming. Oh man, I'm so tired. All right, that covers it. Leave an idea for something you'd like to see me make in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, share it with someone. Share it with someone who you think would think this is cool. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. For those of you guys who stuck around to the very end, next week I'm going to be starting Brigitte's Rocket Flail. See you next time.